I knew that news moves the market and I knew that this program was going to help me somehow quantify that news or create indicators. I was lacking information about news. I only knew that news moved the market, but that, that was it. I was very eager to learn and anything that new for me was going to be very uh, eye opener and indeed the whole CISA program was an eye opening for me. Well, my name is Hugo Cesar Valdivia Carrillo. I was born in Mexico and I was raised in the United States, in Los Angeles. I immigrated at a very young age and I complete my studies in the United States, specifically in Los Angeles. And, uh, and I've been working in finance uh, since 2002 in the area of finance. I've been in many areas within the finance and investment industry, in compliance, analysis, financial analysis, investment analysis, uh, probably set trading as well, uh, and probably a little bit of uh, fund management as well. And at the moment I am, uh, I've been working in, in many countries, and at the moment, I'm stationed in Mexico. My previous job was for a company in Hong Kong. Uh, it was a financial company. I helped the company obtain a financial license from Malaysia, financial, uh, from Malaysia Financial Authority. I helped them obtain that license to operate in Asia. And the company was based in Hong Kong, but they have uh, offices throughout China, mainly uh, in mainland China, uh, the company, uh, it was a brokerage firm that tried to uh, open uh, investment funds. And I was a director of that company, finance director for that company. I did uh, investment analysis for uh, private equity investments, investment analysis for uh, equity investments and at the same time, design some uh, <clears throat> hedging on open positions. And um, I also uh, have some some kind of uh, authority to place uh, positions in the Forex market. Well, my hobbies, I, since I was a kid, I always like, uh, I look at the stars and I always I was very curious to see what was that little light that we always see at night when we look up the sky. And so when I started growing up, I started learning more about astronomy. And, uh, and I remember I bought my first telescope. And, uh, and since then I've been buying a lot of telescopes. <laughs> and that's, that's my hobby, uh, astronomy. I, I like astronomy a lot. I also uh, like surfing. Uh, I did surfing when I was young in Los Angeles, Manhattan Beach. It was a very nice uh, beach to do some surfing and reading. That's my other hobby. Uh, I love to read. I love to uh, obtain information from you, uh, getting up to date on, on, on the things that I like or on news. Uh, it's always been essential for uh, for me to be aware of the things that is happening around me. And my first option was to be a doctor. Uh, I cannot afford to to go to medicine. It's going to take a long time. It's going to be very expensive, and I have already responsibilities. So I opt to go to finance because I like numbers as well. That was my other option, something with numbers. And and, uh, and I start. I remember one day that I was looking at the news and then there were some on uh, changing channels on the TV. I saw, I came up with a, at that time I didn't know of the, this channel, but it came up with CNBC. And since I was always looking at news to hear the news and see what's going on, I saw that little picture coming out at the bottom of the screen and it was a lot of, of uh, kind of like initials. 
uh, some words on it, some letters and numbers after that. And I say, what is that? I didn't know what, what is that. I'm talking about when I was 16 years old. I didn't know nothing about the stock market. I didn't know nothing about finance. So uh, I started doing research. What was that? And that was the tickers for companies uh, that were uh, uh, trading on, on the stock market, the New York Stock Exchange. And I got interested about that, uh, about the numbers, because I, I always like numbers. And that's how I entered the finance field. And then I decided to go to study finance at California State University in Los Angeles. And I graduated in, in my finance major. I actually, I have, for one class I didn't, did not take, I could have also graduated for, have a dual major on computer information systems. But for some reason I did not uh, take that class. Uh, I didn't know because I was taking a lot of classes to get get more information because I was also drawn from, at that time, uh, computers. The, uh, the internet, uh, at that time, the internet, everything about, about that com was a huge success. Everything, you could see a, a, a lot of news from the dot com. Everything has to do with dot com. Uh, you can see it on all over the news. So I graduated in finance, and after that, uh, I obtained a, a job. In my first job was a compliance officer at a brokerage firm. Uh, I started learning about um, the futures. Then I took my Series Seven, Series Three. And I was doing a compliance at that time, compliance in the futures market. Many futures and forex were our customers. So I, my first job was to make sure that we comply with the rules and regulations for the National Futures Association and the Commodity Futures Trading Commissions, which are those are the, uh, the commissions that regulate futures trading in the United States. After that, I became a financial analyst with the same firm because that's what I wanted to do, do some uh, analysis, financial analysis. And after that, I moved to Mexico to work for a bank, private bank, in risk, risk management. And uh, I spent in Mexico almost five years, I believe five years in, in risk management. Uh, we designed uh, hedging strategies for all the positions for the bank, swaps, uh, options, a lot of futures as well in, in commodities as well as in forex. And from that, I moved to Shanghai. Uh, in Shanghai, I worked for a company I was the general representative, general director representative for the company. Uh, the company was registered in Australia. We were regulated by ACIC, which is the Australian Security and Investment Commission. But we have offices all throughout Asia, but our main office was in, in Shanghai. And I was the general director for that company in, in Asia. In Shanghai, we have a lot of offices throughout China, mainland China, Hong Kong, Australia, uh, Singapore, Malaysia. And I did that same. I started doing more of a business development for the company and uh, making sure that we comply with the rules and regulations for the Australian Security and Investment Commission. And we had the same thing. We have a lot of... Uh, we, it was a brokerage firm, and then uh, we provide some investment funds to company, to clients that wanted to invest in their in the funds. And it was mainly in, in the equity market and the forex market. And some there was another fund, small fund that uh, invested also in private equity. But uh, the main funds were in the forex and the Chinese equity market. And 
a lot of financial analysis, a lot of uh, investment analysis there as well as, uh, as, well as uh, business development. And those very long days, 14, 15 hours days doing a lot of things. And it was a very great experience for me. Uh, I learned a lot and also living in a different country, uh, different culture. Uh, it was very good experience for me being in Shanghai and working in the financial industry. Well, in, when I was still in Los Angeles, uh, I came up with the uh, working with this company, with my first company. I started learning about trading. I enrolled in a program from a, a guy very well done in the trading industry. Uh, his name is Oliver Velez, and him and another, another company called, at that time, Pristine, now is T3 Securities, uh, they develop a, a system, a trading system based on technical uh, analysis. And I enrolled and started learning about day trading because that's what I wanted to do. I, once I started learning more about the industry, once I started doing this financial analysis, financial research, that I said, uh, trading, uh, I like trading. It was a challenge for me to be a trader because everything that is involved. And at that time, I didn't know uh, all it takes to be a trader, actually, to be a successful trader. And so I enrolled in the program and I started learning about day trading. And I learned a lot. And I'm still in that program uh, but right now I'm not active with that program, but I learned a lot of uh, good technical setups that this program teaches. And at that time I said, uh, I want to do this. I wanted to, to, to uh, become a day trader. And, uh, but it takes, at that time, since I didn't know much about, about day trading, uh, I took a lot of uh, hits on the market, then I started learning more, and that's when I started learning that trading, 90% uh, is emotional, and 10% is technical. Once you learn the technical side of it, that's the easy part. The hardest part is controlling your emotions. And at that time, uh, I didn't know that, and there were not a lot of literature, so you could learn how to control your emotions because you cannot eliminate emotions. You can control it, but that's it. But it takes time, a lot of time. As humans, we're not designed to be a trader. It's, it's all the contrary that a human is, is designed with because all your emotions are there to protect you. And once you have a position that is losing, uh, is hurting you, so your own emotions, your own uh, ego takes over and try to cover that. And those those little things are the ones that hurt all traders. And it takes time to change that, actually to understand, to acknowledge that you have a problem. And then another time to understand that problem. And then it takes more time you know, to change those behaviors that are hurting you. Uh, so it takes a lot of time to be a, a successful trader. And like I said, 90% uh, is emotional and 10% is the technical side, uh, learning the technical setups that you need to see in order to place decisions. But once you place the positions, then it becomes uh, you take that hat as a trader and you put another hat of emotional trader now to control those emotions. Uh, so that's what I start learning about trading. And then once I moved to Mexico, uh, I was in the uh, trading side of it, but I was not a trader. I was in the risk side of it. And I, but I continue to still learn, do more research about emotions, that's, a, that's where I try to find out. That's when I found out that emotions is a big part of trading. And uh, then I moved to, to Shanghai 
and then I stopped doing some trading because of the time difference. I couldn't uh, trade uh, a lot. I did trade a little bit, but it was not uh, as much as when I was in in America in the other side of it. So uh, that's where I came about. Then I started learning, uh, reading, not learning. I started reading about uh, data science and algorithmic trading. And that's what I, I started getting more interest in, in algorithmic trading and doing some research on the, on the internet. I find out about quantum states and I start looking at the, uh, uh, the program that Quant Institute offered. But uh, because of my time schedule, my work schedule was so full. I worked 14, 15 hours a day. I couldn't enroll in the program at that time. That's when I, uh, I left that company in Shanghai and I went with my last company in Hong Kong. It was a hybrid job. I first started working in Hong Kong and then I started doing it remotely. And that's when I involved in, in I had more time to do uh, the program in, in, in the Quant Institute, the EPAD Quant uh, program. And uh, that's where I get more interested about algorithmic trading because I start seeing a lot of on the news algorithmic traders, those hedge funds that only use algorithms to trade. And that takes a lot of, uh, of the motion side of it. <laughs> and I said, yeah, I need to involve in this. I need to learn because uh, eventually what I want to do is just become a trader. Or oh, hopefully uh, in the future, uh, uh, have my own hedge funds, algorithmic hedge, hedge fund. So that's where I enroll in, in EPAD. And I learned a lot. Uh, I have no idea where it was algorithmic trading. Although you do some research, you start uh, reading, you have some idea. But once you start programming, algorithmic trading is completely different. It's, it's a huge eye opener of uh, the EPAD program to learn algorithmic trading. Well, actually, I was, uh, I first saw CISAR on the Quant Institute website. And, mm -hmm. uh, and I very got interested because I, I didn't know nothing about natural language processing, nothing about it. So I started reading on the uh, Quant Institute website and then uh, someone from Quant Institute sent me literature on, on the CISA program. And I got very interested because I didn't know nothing about it. You know, I thought this was, it is a totally new, uh, new field in terms for me at least for me in terms of, of the algorithmic side of it trading so i look at the literature start reading the literature and uh then i did some research on the on the internet on natural language processing and what it related to trading and wow it opens my eyes to another field into very interesting field that I was not aware of. So that's how I became uh, interested on the, C on the CSAC uh, program. Prior to know about natural language processing and, and related to finance, every news that came up, uh, I could see it when I was trading, I could see it on, on the stock market, on the indices moving, all green on the times and sales windows or all red depending on the news and and i was like wow what the hell is happening while i was have positions on it or or when i was uh doing some trading and suddenly you could see the price going up going down very fast and i was not aware of what happened i mean what is causing this movement sudden movement and it was news it was some kind of news that moved the market or moved that specific stock. And then I started to realize news moved the market. Nothing else moves the market except the news and the perceptions of some big hedge funds or 
some economic news that is moving the market. That's when they start to realize that news and, and this connecting the dots with the natural language processing and this news is what moves the market. And yes, this is the future of it. Because if you could uh, start uh, creating an index or an index or some kind of indicators that tracks this news, wow, that gives you a big advantage over, over uh, many other uh, companies or traders that don't have or don't know about this, uh, this relationship between news and the market. And that's how I got interested in natural language processing and on the CSAT program, because it teaches you that, it teaches you to, to construct, uh, to look at news in a different way and construct uh, indicators based on the news. And that gives you, like I said, that gives, that gives you an advantage. When I was trading, I would see some unexpected news coming up and it will move the market even though I was trading, let's say, Citigroup, and it was uh -huh. some one, one news that was not even related to City, to City, uh, City Corp, City Bank, and it didn't move right. the market anyway. And after five minutes, ten minutes, now you realize, ah, it was this news that caused this move. And that's when I start connecting the dots. I say, well, news, news is, is the one that uh. We need to somehow get a hold of all this news and create some kind of uh, indicators for this news. And then after a couple of years later, then I find out about the CSAT program. And I say, wow, I need to enroll in this right away. <laughs> well, when I enroll in CSAT, when I learn about the, uh, the program on CSAT, uh, I have very high expectations. But at the same time, I didn't know what to expect because I knew that news moves the market. And I knew that this program was going to help me somehow quantify that news or create indicators. But uh, since I was lacking knowledge, uh, information about news, I, I, only knew, I only knew that news moved the market, but that, that was it. So I've, I had a very high expectations. I was very eager to learn and everything, anything that new for me was going to be uh, a very uh, eye opener. And indeed, the whole CISA program was an eye opening for me because I learned so much about how to quantify news, how to construct news. I didn't know about uh, the decay effect that news has. I didn't know nothing about that. And, and it was very exciting for me to learn all these new things and how it relates to the market. Uh, on top of that, uh, the, the, the webinars that Unicom does uh, outside of the program also, where they bring people that actually are implementing those strategies on the real world. Those are also uh, eye openers because it tells you or it shows you how real people are doing it. The same thing that uh, the CISA program uh, teach you, they're doing it outside, working for big banks or hedge funds or doing their own uh, research analysts. And those are things that nobody else shows you. No other program shows you that. And, and you could see the relationship between what you learn in CSAC and how it is applied outside in the real world. And no other program teaches that. And that's something that I love about this program, uh, that uh, it teaches you a lot of new things. It teaches you things that you didn't, at least for me, in my opinion, in my own uh, experience, I didn't know you could do this stuff. And at the same time, when they do this webinars during the weekends that you are invited to, to attend, 
you could see how these real people do it in the real world uh, with examples how they, they they show their research and how they do it the other day we saw uh, we were invited by uh, there were two uh, exponents on the webinar working for a bank and how they construct this uh, they use all this news and they create different indicators and they do it uh, in Asia. Uh, it's incredible to trade the bond market. And wow, that's nobody else teach you that. No other program that I know teach you that. And, and for me, those are little things that uh, the program uh, is so great to learn this new um, in this new industry, let's say on, on the news and creating sentiment and quantifying this news to create indicators. Not the program teach you that, except this it, It's incredible. And, and like I said, my expectations were so high, but at the same time, we're like, okay, but what are you gonna expect? I want to expect to learn the things. And definitely the CISA program taught me a lot of great things that I didn't know existed uh, at that time and they and, and, and they continue doing it they continue teaching me throughout this uh webinars that they do uh sometimes during the weekends because i could see how real people do it on the real world and in everything that the CISA program uh teach you they doing it in the real world and i love this program it's definitely a great program. Well, when I enroll in CSAT, when I learn about the uh, the program on CSAT, uh, I have very high expectations, but at the same time, I didn't know what to expect because I knew that news moves the market. And I knew that this program was gonna help me somehow quantify that news or create indicators. But uh, since I was lacking knowledge, uh, information about news, I, I only knew I only knew that news moved the market, but that that was it. So I've, I had a very high expectations. I was very eager to learn, and everything, anything that new for me was gonna be uh, a very uh, eye opener, and indeed. The whole CISA program was an eye opening for me because I learned so much about how to quantify news, how to construct news. I didn't know about uh, the decay effect that news has. I didn't know nothing about that. And, and it was very exciting for me to learn all these new things and how it relates to the market. Uh, on top of that, uh, the, the, the webinars that Unicom does uh, outside of the program also, where they bring people that actually are implementing those strategies on the real world, those are also uh, eye openers because it tells you or it shows you how real people are doing it, the same thing that uh, the CISA program uh, teach you, they're doing it outside, working for big banks or hedge funds or doing their own uh, research analysts. And those are things that nobody else shows you. No other program shows you that. And, and you could see the relationship between what you learn in CISA and how it is applied outside in the real world. And no other program teaches that. And that's something that I love about this program, uh, that uh, it teaches you a lot of new things. It teaches you things that you didn't, at least for me, in my opinion, in my own uh, experience, I didn't know you could do this stuff. And at the same time, when they do this webinar during the weekends, that you are invited to, to attend, you could see how these real people do it 
in the real world uh, with examples how they, they they show the research and how they do it the other day we saw uh, we were invited by uh, there were two uh, exponents on the webinar working for a bank and how they construct this uh, they use all this news and they create different indicators and they do it uh, in Asia. Uh, it's incredible to trade the bond market. And wow, that's nobody else teach you that. No other program that I know teach you that. And, and for me, those are little things that uh, the program uh, is so great to learn this new um, in this new industry, let's say on, on the news and creating sentiment and quantifying this news to create indicators. No other program teach you that except this it, It's incredible. And, and like I said, my expectations were so high, but at the same time, we're like, okay, but what are you going to expect? I want to expect to learn the things. And definitely the CISA program taught me a lot of great things that I didn't know existed uh, at that time and they and, and, and they continue doing it they continue teaching me throughout this uh webinars that they do uh sometimes during the weekends because i could see how real people do it on the real world and in everything that the CISA program uh teach you they doing it in the real world and i love this program it's definitely a great program well there's no comparison because uh, the other certifications were some of them were with live uh classrooms the other ones were not a classroom it was a do-it-yourself study by yourself and, and and you keep doing it uh whenever you have time or whenever you have a desire to learn this is a program, it was kind of like a classroom, going back to school and learn. And for me, that's the real experience. That's the, uh, what every student wants, because you have any questions you could ask at that time right there. And so there's no comparison for me. Uh, I believe this is a program uh, is very well structured. Uh, you have, uh, or let's say the professor or the instructor right there teaching you. Uh, and what a great faculty they have. It's incredible, very knowledgeable, very um, professional uh, instructors. So the CISA program uh, teach you right there, uh, live classrooms, live instructions. While the, some of the other programs were not live, it was uh, do it yourself, uh, kind of like a, a course where you are signing into the platform and whenever you have time or whenever you have a desire to continue with that certification, you do it. Here, no. Here, you, you need to attend the, uh, the, uh, the instructions. The, cl the, the classes and it, it, for me, in my personal opinion, it is better because you're right there live with the instructor. And if you have any questions right there, that same instance, uh, you get the, uh, the answer. And the customer service is incredible. One is the, uh, well, the CISA program, the customer service, both of them, the IPA and the CISA is, is incredible. Customer service is incredible. The best that I have ever had in any program to be sincere with you. And I'm really very sincere with you. It is the best customer service. Any questions, anything that happens to you, they, they even call you, man. I already uh, had a call with uh, the president of Financy. Man, what program does that? Nobody does that. No other programs do that. One is this incredible. It's a very great company and a very desire to, to teach uh, academic trading and on this, on this time, uh, this is a sentiment analysis in financial markets. It's incredible.
Well, there's no comparison because uh, the other certifications were, some of them were with live uh, classrooms. The other ones were not a classroom. It was a do-it-yourself study by yourself and, and, and you keep doing it uh, whenever you have time or whenever you have a desire to learn. This is a program, it was kind of like a classroom going back to school and learn. And for me, that's the real experience. That's the, uh, what every student wants because you have any questions you could ask at that time right there. And so there's no comparison for me. Uh, I believe this is a program uh, is very well structured. Uh, you have, uh, or let's say the professor or the instructor right there teaching you. Uh, and what a great faculty they have. It's incredible, very knowledgeable, very uh, professional uh, instructors. So, the CISA program uh, teach you right there, uh, live classrooms, live instructions, while the, some of the other programs were not live. It was uh, do it yourself, uh, kind of like a, a course where you are signing into the platform and whenever you have time or whenever you have a desire to continue with that certification, you do it. Here, no. Here, you you need to attend the uh, the, uh, the instructions, the, cl the, the classes, and it, it, for me, in my personal opinion, it is better because you're right there live with the instructor. And if you have any questions right there, that same instance, uh, you get the uh, the answer, and the customer service is incredible. One instance uh, of the CISA program, the customer service, both of them, the IPA and the CISA, is, is incredible. Customer service is incredible. The best that I have ever had in any program to be sincere with you, and I'm really very sincere with you. It's the best customer service. Any questions, anything. It happens to you. They they even call you, man. I already uh, had a call with uh, the president of Paninsti. Man, what program does that? Nobody does that. No other programs do that. Paninsti is incredible. It's a very great company, and a very desire to to teach uh, academic trading and on this on this time uh, the this sentiment analysis in financial markets. It's incredible. So what I like about the CISA program, the features, is the uh, accessibility from faculty after you finish the uh, the program and the extra education they provide after you finish the program, uh, where they where you're invited to this webinar for uh, to learn more about new research, learn more about how practitioners uh, outside of the CISA program they put together uh, everything that is taught in the system program in the real life. Uh, you learn so much. They give you so much, I believe, extra for what the program costs, actually. And for me, it's, 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 that's uh, a lot. That means a lot. Uh, they give you more than what I call it is fair. And that's the features that I like about this program, the accessibility to the faculty and all these new things that we teach you and the extra education they provide you by inviting you to this international session and the extra education they provide on the extra sessions they provide on the, uh, on the weekends, on the webinars. Because you learn so much what real people are doing in real markets and everything with everything that is taught on the CISA program. No other program, and I've been involved in many other programs, not related to uh, trading, not related to algorithmic trading, but any other program like data science, data analysis, business analysis, no other program gives you the extra stuff that one ESP and the CISA program gives you 
uh, it's incredible to be sincere with you. You guys are special, are unique. For me, it's just get a job of trying, trying to keep learning a lot on this EPAT program and the CSAT program. And I'm trying, I feel a little bit difficult for me to try to mix everything. But how can I use the CSAT program, what I learned in CSAT program, with some of the, uh, uh, for, with what I learned also on the EPAT program. So I'm, I'm still uh, trying to see, okay, build strategies with what CSAT program taught me and at the same time mix it together with, with uh, the EPAT uh, program. I'm within that part of it, trying to balance that and trying to incorporate both programs to create different strategies that uh, complement each other. So for me right now, uh, it's getting a job. I would love to, I would love to uh, have a new job in, in algorithmic trading, get more into the trading side of it and less of the administrative side of it. Because I, I, I love trading, but uh, because of my experience in administration and all the stuff for financial firms, I would like to get more into the uh, trading side of it. And for me, it's uh, trying to use what I learned in the IPAD program and what I learned in the CISA program. And hopefully those skills uh, that I learned from both programs uh, will help me uh, find a new job in the algorithmic business in anywhere, actually, uh, either here in Mexico, United States, or Asia, or anywhere. I'm, I'm open to go anywhere at this moment. So that's that's for me the future. And probably at the end, in a far, in a more distant future, I don't know, God knows, uh, open a hedge fund. Well, I would definitely encourage them to take both programs, the EPAD program and the CSAT program. I believe that uh, as a trader, you benefit from both of them uh, immensely. Uh, you learn the uh, how to construct on the EPAD program. You learn how to uh, everything that is related to algorithmic trading, construct all this uh, systematic trading systems. and that takes the emotion out of it, let's say. You just, and by the way, your imagination is, is, is the limit to how or how many uh, trading systems you can build. Uh, you, the impact teaches that, how to uh, build this automated systems. And you can use your imagination to, to build this trading systems. It's, it's incredible. It's a great program. I would recommend it to all traders. The CSAT program, it opens the door, at least for me, it opens the door, it opens uh, to something new that I didn't know uh, that, uh, that, that exists. And you learn how this, everything that is quantifiable, news, tweets, al alternative data, how that affects the market and how you can quantify those uh, news, those tweets, that alternative data, how to construct new indicators to uh, help you in your trading system. Uh, definitely both programs are, are great, are very complement of each other and they teach you something new that uh, at least I didn't know about it. And so would, I would definitely recommend both programs to new traders and existing traders as well to enroll in these programs. They are great programs, unbelievable, great programs.